And uh, no SIGGRAPH, no Maxon thing would be complete without interviewing the man behind Grayscale Gorilla, Mr. Nick Campbell. Come on. How you doing? Well, good, man. How's SIGGRAPH? It's been fun. You guys are running another booth just like you did at NAB. That's really cool. Yeah, it's our uh, third one. So SIGGRAPH last year was our first time. So third year with a booth. At Dude, we love it. We love meeting the customers, yeah. you know? How's the crowd here? You know, I, I've seen, I mean, basically everyone's been crowded around you guys like for three days straight, and this is the first chance I've had to get five minutes with you. You know what's fun? <laughs> yeah, I know, we've been busy. It's been, um, it's fun. It's like the MoGraph hub of Seagraph is the Cinema 4D booth. So everybody is here, you know, there's a lot of visual effects, there's a lot of cool tech around, a lot of people with, with goggles on their yeah. face. But all the motion designers uh, are like hanging around here. So it's really cool to meet the community and yeah. just see how people are using our tools, training, and just meet people. We, yeah. we only see people through comments and like likes on Facebook, yeah. you know? So it's nice to meet, like shake some hands, yeah. you know? And it's funny, you see these people and they come up and they say something and then you read their name and you're like, oh, I know you. <laughs> you know, you see the studio that they're with, you're like, oh wow, you know who I am? I'm a nobody, you know? Yeah, you work it's for, like, you work where? Yeah, <laughs> exactly, right? So, all right, so you guys just uh, released the new medals pack, oh, you man. know, just uh, like a month ago or a little less than that, right? Yeah, I want to say it's been out about a month, and this is new to me. Like, Chad Ashley was like, yo, you, we need a medals pack. Yeah, like, totally. I was like, describe to me. I was skeptical. Uh -huh. Describe to me why you need to light uh -huh. differently for, like, medals. And he yeah. went through the whole thing, and he's like, check this out. Yeah. And so he came up with an entire pack for our HDRI packs that's an add-on, essentially. If you do a lot of reflective work, a lot of product stuff, they're beautiful. So, I mean, I, like I said, I was skeptical, and then he started putting them out, and I'm like, these are really drastically yeah. different. Yeah. And they don't work for, you know, for like outdoor scenes. They're, they're specifically right. made right. for product shots and really reflective stuff. So, yeah. if you haven't checked it out yet. Yeah. I, I was actually, you know, uh, uh, manning the booth earlier, and I, I said, Chris, I need some HDRIs. Give me some HDRIs. So, he gave me the full metal pack, and I played around with it, and it's really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Yeah, it's fun, dude. So uh, you got a couple other things uh, on your plate. You guys got the podcast. You guys got half res coming up. Uh, tell me a little bit about half res and like I was talking to Chris the other day. You know because we run DFWC4D and we've been talking to a couple of people and they're like, how do we get a you know a little group started? Uh, we were talking to a couple of guys from Orange County. And it was like there's just the two of us. And I said, you know what? Chris was telling me the other day when they started Chicago C4D, it was three people for the first thing. And now look at you guys. You guys are doing half res and like you sold out in what three days? Yeah, essentially. Three days, <laughs> man. So, and you guys were actually like charging this time so you guys can make a little bit of money back, which is awesome, yep. you know? And you still sold out in three days, yeah, yeah. you know? We got people flying all the way from uh, London to come and visit, which is awesome. Yeah, so, it's, 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 been, um, it's been interesting, like as Half Res grew, you're right, like the first Cinema 40 meetup was a few people and that was, you know, oh, 2000, I forget when he started, 2008 maybe? And of course, everything's been growing since then and, and Half Res, uh, we've been doing, this is our sixth half res, mm -hmm. and uh, as, as it grows too, we're like, well, let's, let's charge, not necessarily to put money in our pockets, but to, like, to, make, yeah. the, to make the show better. We're, we're yeah. able now to fly people in and pay for That's their awesome. hotel yeah, yeah. Uh, rather than like ask for charity. Yeah. You know? We've so. done that once or twice, and that gets expensive. <laughs> yeah. So it, the whole community, like you, you mentioned the podcast, you mentioned like user meetups, uh, mm -hmm. just reminds me, if anybody wants to start their own user meetup, we have a couple interviews on our website with, uh, with Chicago C4D, which is Chris and Jack from Chicago, but also our buddy Brad Chimalewski, who runs the, the kind of motion design after effects uh, general motion design meetup in Chicago. And they talk about how they got started, how they started with a couple people and it grew and it grew. So if you're interested in starting your own meetup in whatever part of the world, make sure you watch those. And as far as the podcast, Man, we, we've heard more, okay, first thing is medals. People love medals, but the second one, people are loving the podcast. And what, we're, what we hear over and over again is so many people are working by themselves or in a small team. Absolutely. They, they don't, you know, they don't have that lunch conversation that they want and they, uh, they, they kind of have us in their ear now to like have those talks and talk yeah. about new gear and talk about what they're into. So it's Yeah, important. and working as yourself as a freelancer or something like that, you know, you don't really have any mentors who you can look up to like in a studio environment or something like that. So yeah. it's really good to be able to, you know, see it from a different point of view or something like that and kind of uh, uh, almost have a mentor that way, you know. A yeah. mentor who you don't see, well, but you hear from. It's fun. It's funny you say that because 
Chad, Chad Ashley is like my mentor. He's like, my mentor too. Yeah, and now he's everyone's mentor. <laughs> and that's, that's one of the reasons that we brought him on the team. Like not only is he a good artist, mm -hmm. um, but is, and he's a good teacher, but he's like my best mentor personally. Yeah. And also now we get to share him yeah. with the world. So yeah. uh, to have him on the podcast and to share his point of view is also a huge part of it. So we, we love that community side of things. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. Uh, thank you guys for everything you've been doing for the community. And I have to say, I actually stole one of your lines yesterday. Uh, I was interviewing uh, one of the uh, uh, German core developers, and I said, "So if you hate something, this is the guy. But also, if you love it, this is the guy." <laughs> stole your line from NAB. Sorry, but uh, well, I think it's important. Uh, you know, everyone loves feedback. Everyone loves mm -hmm. critique. But you know, the people that literally sit and code Cinema 4D are here mm -hmm. at, at Seagraph and at NAB. Yeah. So if, when you go critique them, you gotta go, first of all, thank you. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Uh, but, yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. but we, uh, we were at dinner with them uh, the other day. I sat right next to a couple of them and I, and I was like, here's some things you guys should in incorporate into the next one. And he's like, he's actually taking notes. No, so they're, they're like they, yeah, they listen to their, uh, to their people, which is awesome. Yeah. They're so community driven. Um, I mean, we are, we're obviously a good fit. You know, yeah. we, we, we're all about the community and, and and Paul and you know Maxon in general they're just like really open to what everyone's up to so it's always fun to be here it's always fun to be at Seagraph and me, awesome. uh, like I said meet everybody awesome. thanks man thanks. appreciate it so much Cheers, man. Uh, more videos coming on the last day of Seagraph uh, I design and thank you guys